I got one thing to say to you. If you enjoy the video, you know what to do. First time with the new camera, first time going drifting. Let's do this, boys. I promise you that I turned the sharpness down on the vlogging camera. That's the default setting that GoPro has, and this was my first time ever using it. So future vlogs won't be as sharp as this video. The first thing that I wanna say is I do apologize if there's like something wrong with the video, because this is my first time using the new vlogging camera. And I do have to go to Walmart, so I know these clips are very short, but that's because I only have a 32 gigabyte SD card in this camera. And it's only going to allow me to record for 20 minutes. Where we're gonna end up going drifting up by my mom's house. We're also gonna be going up to my mom's today since where we're going drifting is right on the way and I'm gonna stay over there for the night. But um, the, uh, the SD card on this will only allow me to record for 20 minutes. So that's why these clips, until I actually make it to Walmart, are gonna be very short. But this is most likely gonna be the last one. Told you guys you'd be seeing a lot of this man, Chris. What's going on, bro? What? Drift it? All right, bro, so everybody that lives in New Hampshire, if you wanna learn how to drift, right there, Tire Warehouse in Littleton. This man says it's cool. If you wanna come here and roast a set of tires, do it. Something kinda of cool that I had no idea about. Those plates, like the lasers get shot at them. You wanna explain it to them? Yeah, so, I mean, over here. It's probably right. easier to show on the screen itself. So like when you do the actual alignment, these little the little reflective markers actually measure which way the tire is tipped. So like if you have a camber issue, it'll tell you that. If it's got a caster issue, it'll tell you toe, all that. So and it Sweet. also measures front and rear. So green, like when he's moving the tires, like that screen will also move the tires. It's kind of cool. All right, boys, be frank. How's it going? Boys, so we're gonna have to tune this thing. There, like, it won't let us do the whole donut part of it. I don't know. I I know that there's some sort of a um. You, yeah. You, well, you were talking about how you pull the e-brake up a few times. Yeah, it's like snap the foot brake. Right, I've seen that too. So that's got to be what that is. That's about the whole drifting. So. It will come, but the car it just won't do it right now. For all the people that like old school, go for it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got a secret fort. Sophie's enjoying this. Oh, 
It was pretty this cool. This is where my stepdad, Brian, hunts. Yeah, that deer come right out of there. She come right down, right around, come right up in behind me. Never see me sitting there. Just came around and went right back up that way and continued on. Never even knew I was there. So this is how it works. You put one of those things in the tree and then there it goes right in there all winter long. And then you put it in your thing. My mom's making maple syrup out here with bricks. How do you do it, mom? So we have buckets up in the woods and then we put the sap in here from the buckets. And then we have two pans that continually boil. And that last one over here is we just keep it warm, hot, and continually feed these other two pans. And at this point, we're just letting these two boil down um, until it's ready to finish, and then we'll start another batch. We're about to taste raw maple syrup. No, sap. Or sap. Alright, shut it off. Oh, on. it does have like a... Just tastes like water with a little bit of sugar. Yeah, it tastes... It does taste like... I don't know what it tastes like. It's sweet though. Yeah. Cool. Boys, we are having beef stew tonight, baby. Plus, my mom's making some homemade bread. I'm probably going to have to swap over to my phone um, because I don't have any more space on this. I mean, I do, but it's like a piss-ass poor amount since I'm recording 4K, 60 FPS. But all that stuff off of Amazon is going to be here very very it's going to be here on monday because it's it's prime eligible um and i get to tie my boots but anyways um it comes with like there's the screen that i'm going to be getting so that i can actually hold the the camera and know what i'm like what you guys are seeing while, while i'm talking to you and then i got like this 50 50 in one accessory kit that comes with some car mounts for when I'm in my car that way I can talk to you without it have having to like be on a mount because it has like this sticker thing and you just put the GoPro on it it comes with like a headpiece for when we go four-wheeling more often snowmobiling in the winter it has a chest piece for whatever the hell you use that for and a bunch of other crap like a helmet thing it like it's a 50 in one so, I mean, there's 50 things for it. You know what I mean? Voice crack. Yes, I'm 30 and my voice cracks still. Love it. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> but yeah, probably the next clip, it will not be actual 4K 60 FPS. So if the quality ends up going down, I just want to say that is why. I ended up running out of space on my SD card and it was pretty late at night and my phone is just horrible quality when I record at nighttime, as you guys probably noticed in the previous vlog, which is really what pushed me 
to actually get the GoPro because I've heard nothing but good things about them. But the thing is, the sharpness. I'm sure that you guys noticed that in this video where like the edges of everything was too sharp. That's what I mean for those. What, I did, what did I just say? My voice cracks all the time. I don't understand why. It just does, dude. But anyways, the whole sharpness, you do have the ability to tune that on the GoPro. So now that I know that that is an actual setting there, I'm obviously going to test out some recordings today, transfer them over to my computer, and make sure if medium or just low looks the best. Because I know there are certain shots, like mo with the car, I think that that looks really awesome having that super sharp image when we're looking at the car and you know I'm not going to be able to monetize this video on either channel I know I know that I'm uploading this on both channels but I'm only going to be uploading the vlogs to my Super Dan gaming channel until the vlog channel actually ends up taking off because I do not have the time to be editing two like very highly edited videos like you guys saw today going and driving to my mom's for you know that takes about an hour just to get there another hour to get back so it's like I have two hours to do this and it's like I'm out and about doing stuff to make the vlogs entertaining so on days like today when I'm like editing as much as I am which is pretty obvious from the videos you know, I can't, I can't like not upload on my Super Dan channel because that is my job. So, but yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, man, it really does mean a lot to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.